Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Onos and today I'm going to show you how to beat Imagawa Yoshimoto. God damn, that was hard work. Okay, let's jump in. Just quickly before we start, has this happened to you? I don't know about you, but that made me want to punch the smug bastard right in his stupid face. So, let's show you how to do that. We're going to break down each of his attacks and show you how to counter them so you can rub this guy's nose in the dirt real quick. So when you first start the fight, he's either going to A, do this air arrow attack, or B, fire them at you directly, which is the next one coming up. Just be aware and so that you can avoid them. For this air attack, you need to be dodging as the arrows begin to hit the ground, not before, otherwise you'll have dodged too early and they will get you in the radius. So sometimes he'll try to fool you, he'll aim up and then he'll aim directly at you. I mean either way you should really be waiting to see what he does anyway because if you dodge too early he'll hit you, but you want to dodge to the left or right. Now be aware, this guy is not a gentleman, he will not fire his arrows and then wait for you to recover, he'll come swinging in so be aware to dodge again straight afterwards. So my advice with this one is not to burst counter unless you're very close to him at the time he starts the animation. Really, you want to be dodging and rolling literally just before the lightning strikes. So you watch the build up and then you dodge. Notice though how he didn't wait for me to recover again. He jumped straight in on me. So be aware. My advice for this fight actually is if you're going to dodge, you're probably going to need to dodge more than once. And what I found was successful was to dodge one way and then the other very quickly afterwards. Just assume he's going to follow up his first attack. Here's an example of what I was talking about. He does his burst counter attack very quickly followed by the arrow attack straight afterwards. So I had to dodge one way and then the other to get out of them. I'll show you the full clip. This is actually a decent damage window. If you avoid his charge attack, circle around from the secondary follow up and then he pauses for what seemed like forever. Jump in on him and get some damage. Now bear in mind he'll respond in one of two ways. He will either do a charge attack which needs a burst counter to get rid of it or alternatively he might start to block. Now if he does start to block I would back away if I were you because he does have a counter kick which he can do which knocks you straight on your ass and leaves you open to further attacks. Here's an example of that happening to me. I was over ambitious with my attacks, a little too much gusto and he punished me for it. In all honesty they're the main points of the fight. Realistically what you should be doing is keeping about mid range, keep out of his range so that you've got a little bit of warning before he attacks you and you should be okay. Um, when you are dodging, dodge one way then the other, be aware that he will follow up any attack he does. Also very important i found that he responds pretty well to paralysis so if you've got any of that in the ninjutsu tree i would make use of that if i were you i didn't find this fight anywhere near as hard as the last boss to be honest but i'll leave the full fight footage at the end of this so you can take a look you might pick up the odd pointer here and there hope you enjoyed the video guys please like and subscribe if you fancy seeing more and hopefully i'll see you again for the next video take it easy now cheers now bye bye